Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, my friend, again to our channel. Uh, I think you will have missed the last two, two weeks uh, because the Ramadan and Eid. And I wish that you take your family and friends and relatives with great time. And I hope you are well. So I am an instructor of the Rizak. I would like to proceed our sessions about the terrain if use. So if I remind you the last session, we did uh, uh, how to enter data into software or if use. We have seen how to use descriptive statistics and we analyze and interpret. So today I would like to proceed and to uh, our lesson today is how to how to use regression analysis for data analysis. Uh, this tool is very essential for economic relationship. I mean, economic relationship is when we are studying two, more, two or more variables. So today we have an example about uh, inflation, which causes by the price of import goods in Kuwait. So this data is not updated data. It was uh, 19. It was 1972. So just for practicing. So this data is also time series. A uh, previous uh, example, we have seen cross-sectional data, and I show you how to enter data cross-sectional uh, data, how to select it, uh, the, the, uh, this data from the if use, because I say this software is only accepted three types of data, which was cross-sectional data, time series, and binary data. So this is one of the data, one of these three uh, types of data is time series data. This, uh, if I say about briefly, the this uh, technique is, uh, or regression analysis. Regression analysis is statistical techniques for for using testing and estimating economic relationship, and is the most appropriate tool for the data analysis, especially for when we are addressing in the relationship of variables. And also, I, I say, if you are a researcher or student, you should know uh, the clarification of, of the variables. You should know the, whether data is, uh, you, should, you should distinguish data, the dependent variables and independent variables. When you are, when you are building your model, you should know the, which one is dependent variables and which one is independent variables. So then you can put, uh, you can use in software if you know the uh, data, uh, which one is independent and independent, if you clarify. So you know independent variables always affect us. Uh, when we are used, if we say, for example, independent, for example, a uh, previous lesson, we have seen independent variable was price. So today, another, we have another independent variables and independent variables. And also, this uh, data uh, is by variate analysis. It's by variate analysis, which means we are only addressing two variables. One which is a dependent variables and others independent variables. So our example is, 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 is this example about uh, the, this nation of Kuwait. And so we shall see how how the independent variable, which is an uh, import to goods, are affected in the consumer price index of Kuwait, and then it, how it causes the inflation. So, consumer price index, you know, CPI. Everyone knows. I think those who in, uh, study economics, they, they have seen their course, the this uh, CPI. So, and. Regression analysis is a very essential tool when we are addressing the relationship of two variables. For example, and I say in the last uh, previous sessions, we have seen that when we are measuring the relationship, we use R square. And today we are seeing how one independent variable affects dependent variables. And this technique is only for, we use this technique for creation analysis when we are measuring the effects of independent variables on independent variables. So let us see the example uh, that is suggested for brief about the regression analysis. 
This chapter is second chapter since we have covered the first chapter for the basic of if you and the disk of if you and so on. So let's look here. Our example is simple equation. We are building only one equation. One simple equation, which means we are doing bivariate analysis. Bivariate analysis, I mean only we have one independent variables and dependent variables. As I, I told in the before, when we are were in fraction, say there is an and there are various types of data analysis. You can do uh, you, you there is an by unvariate analysis, variate analysis, by variate analysis. So right now we are doing by variate analysis. So last starting our example is here about the, the uh, weight we examine the researcher examine the causes of inflation in such country Kuwait this is only for just for practicing not the, the data this time it was uh, 1972 now Kuwait has changed a lot of, and uh, the, uh, the, they, they should use their import so I think so, not, so this is not applicable right now just for practicing. So it's well known that one of the most important cause of population is great. That means that the, the researcher has realized it. most cause um, the most important cause of population was at that time price of port. So let's see our example example here. Our data is time series data. Uh, you see here, from 1972 and 1977, which means time is changing, but the entity has only a time. Which means that our entity is today is Kuwait, and the time has changed. This means this data is clearly in time series data. So, you see here the following example, y super price index, which is our dependent variables, while x is independent variables. So you see there, these are the consumer price index y, x, and the, and the number of import goods. So let us put this data into our our data. This data is sourced from the International Monetary Fund, International Financial Statistics, whatever. So let us, let us put this data in. Uh, I think you know how to get the data, how to enter data into software. Maybe I have saved money. So, when uh, at the time you wanted to the first time your data, just click the other option, which is create new work file, then create. So, this here, and you need to put the type of data. As I earlier explained more about this. Now, our data is time series. Our previous data is cross-section also data. So these three types, these are three types of data which we have explained for interaction. So plus the second one is the time series. Plus one. So it started. Uh, this data is started in, from the 1970. This is time series 1972. 72 and and this is So this is optional, we can put the of the of data or the work file. Wait. So let's click OK. So now we are uh, this uh, the, we, this we know this number one is in work file window. I think your family have seen. So let us put our data. Let's new object go. Then serious. Then title of 
put our right exception dependent variable to a press index second variable is like this now we have materials this we know this these are serious class open and put our data So edit click edit seven two point five and uh, million well that count that uh, that counter has imported that here from the outside seven four twenty five 8888 100 also 101.4 you can call this million tons of food but then 10 of this and tons uh, tons of this ever you call Also, let's put uh, the consumer price index 7.4. Now there is a standard measurement of the basket, which is 100. So you yeah, know that whenever the, uh, the, uh, the consumer price index is, is above the 100, that means there is inflation. Right, one. Point one. Also, this is a million. Or is this a price? That is the price of of goodies, local, uh, domestic goods, or the import good. So whenever, uh, please note, whenever you are addressing the consumer price index, you should keep in mind that uh, there is a standard mission, 100. So now we are finished with data. So allow us to use our equation. First thing, whenever you are wanting to, uh, want to enter to use equation analyze, let's click this one. Close this one. Yes. Then go objecting. Then new objecting. Then instead of putting here series, put now right now equation. Then right here indexes. Indexes, you, you know, indexes means stands for the we have here price, consumer price index and an import index. That's why we call indexes. So. Let me repeat again. Go to the object, new object, then equation, then put here index. So click OK. OK, so this uh, is very important. This window uh, is very important window because it's where we are appealing in our, our model. Like when we are we are doing the calculation, we say, and for example, y equal p plus p naught plus p one x times x one. So that is the same. So just see, whenever so this window wants to put the dependent variable to identify dependent variables and independent variables. That is the most important. Thing. Unless you don't know the dependent variables and independent variables, you might you need challenge and your result will be in, uh, incorrect. So please note that if you want to build the model, recreation model, you should know the dependent, you can clarify 
the dependent dependent variables and independent variables. So now as our dependent variables is now is Y, which stands for the consumer price index. T is constant, is constant. Then X, which is independent variables. Let us see put the dependent variables, then space C, then space X. So then you put click OK. Right now we came here. See here. This is a recreation equation. All so equation equation window. So you see here dependent variables is y. So allow us to take this and x is independent. So allow us briefly to this figures. The C stands for the constant, which means if country does not import anything, will have this amount. If country, uh, you, uh, uh, for our example, uh, for example, if you if you uh, does not uh, go to job, you are unemployed, uh, unemployed. So there is some income you receive, where, uh, whether it's from the parent, brothers, there are some income you receive, five. So same time, when if a country does not report, there is some corruption. Local production, live their local live. So that is the interpretation of the C. Whenever the country does not import anything, they will they will have this figure of of um, this amount. X stands for our independent variables, which means X is affects the dependent variables. So zero point nine four which means if one whenever if we increase one if Kuwait increase one dollar of import goods the consumer price index will increase cause the consumer price to increase 0 0.9 which is a, in, in, which is a in high figure related to the, according to the uh, population because 0 0.9 is very close to one dollar which all uh, with the country imported from that. so that means there is an is any country which does not have enough good local production may suffer inflation. So this means 0 0.9. Whenever we increase one dollar, our import could cause the inflation 0 0.9 or global price increase that. So also R squares R, 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 R square always tell us the relationship between uh, uh, the variables. These two variables. They have strong relationships since this one is close to one. So 0 0.9 is very is positive relationship. They have positive relationship, which means this are uh, this relationship between consumer price index and uh, import is very very high. So it's better that the county uh, county have local production uh, rather than rely another country. So most developing, uh, developing country they reduce this figure, but the uh, underdeveloped or under, uh, also developing countries still they are struggling their local production and they do not have uh, enough local production, which means the this country uh, uh, they have less they has less uh, less less local production and they citizens are still suffering they don't have enough enough to eat. so that is that's the interpretation so last today I, I would like to end my class today there so another session will be the line how to show the line graph line graph to the, to the, to the, to the, the data we shall see you so before I leave please uh, subscribe to the channel like Thank you. Welcome. Have a nice day.